So now we've prepared our paint, we're going to paint a panel door and I'm going to show you the correct way in which you paint, to paint a panel door, okay? I know some of you said, well, actually, I know how to do it already, but the, this is for quite a few people, yeah? So for some people, it's a recap, and for some people, it's a brand new demo, okay? So the door, make sure your door has been prepared properly to start off with. Make sure that it's sanded, dusted off, filled if it needs filled. And just because the door has been dusted off maybe the day or week previous, there's a lot of sanding going on in these workshops. So make sure you just get another dust. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of scrap paper, just wallpaper. Okay, there's plenty in the boxes, just round and about. On your cubicles, you'll all have a panel door, and that's your panel door that you're going to paint. Okay. So, for a panel door, then we're going to use oil based paints. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to protect the floor because I'm going to go quite, quite low to the floor here. But to stop the door moving, I'm just going to put a wedge on. All right, but then what I want to do because I'll probably be working in someone's house with a carpet, um, laminate, things like that. I'm going to also protect the floor, but that is just for under the door. Okay, so a floor needs protecting. Now, if you're doing if you're working in a room, you would have already sheeted up the full room. Yeah, good. Uh, right, make sure you have. A rag. The pen has already been thinned. Yeah, that's nice and thin. You see the difference we're using your water based pen? Don't run like that, does it? So, first thing, scrape the excess out of your brush. Now, I'm using a two inch brush for this. If you want, you can use a sash brush as well, a few moldings, but I prefer just to use the two inch. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Right. So when using all this, it goes a long way. It needs spreading out a long way as well. What will happen if you don't spread it out? Runs, drips, anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to paint the panels first. Well, I'm going to start this top panel here. So I ain't got a lot of paint in my brush away, and that's going to do the whole of the moulding on the outside. And what I'm doing is I'm doing the flats here, look, but I'm avoiding the corners just for now. I'm doing this bit. And then when the brush has got even less paint on, then I'm going to go to the corners but come away from them. Point into the corners and away into the corner and away, like that, yeah? Still got plenty of paint in there, so I'm gonna do this bit here. So using a crisscross motion and really spreading it out. Don't want none of that because you're not putting any pressure, you're not moving the paint about, okay? So now what I wanna do, you know, I mentioned this morning about laying off. Laying off is really important because that gets rid of your brush marks. So I've laid off one way, I'm just going to lay off vertically and then I'm going to tidy up the mouldings, lay them off like that and that's that bit done. But what I'm also going to do, just because it's going to take me a bit longer this door, if I've got any heavy areas, I'm just going to wipe them off like that because they're going to start going dry. What happens with oil based paint is it starts to set quite quickly. Yeah, it goes through a few processes of drying. It's flow and then set. Okay, so it's flow and it's starting to set, then it becomes tacky. All right, once it's starting to set, you can't do anything with it because it'll be just like dragging skin on custard. Okay, it's the top of it, as soon as it hits the atmosphere, the oxygen gets in and it starts to dry. Okay, so I can't go back to that. Even though I've just done it, I can't go back to it. All right, so I've got to leave it. You've got to make sure that bit is spot on before you go to the next bit. And so again, add in paint. Like that. 
then away from the corners. Use your brush as well. When you're using your brush, don't just keep it at one angle because you're not going to get into the mouldings. So change the angle of your brush as you go. I'd rather be dragging this paint about and putting it on really thin than having it run. Right, so that is the next bit I've run out, so I'm just going to get a little bit more of the panel. Again, crisscross, really work it out, spread it out, lay off horizontally, lay off vertically, tidy up the mouldings, and then just if you've got any excess, large areas of excess, just wipe them off. Okay, when you're doing a panel door, if you say, I went, right, it's break time, you could go for your break at this point because they're separate. All the panels are separate to the main door. The main door is this area here, all right? Once you start painting that bit, you can't go off your break. You've got to, you've got to finish it because it's all one piece, all right? But all these are separate pieces. So I want a little bit more of a brush now because I'm doing one of the bigger mold panels, sorry. So mouldings, that's these bits here. to the corners, away from the corners. Now, just watch if I get too much paint on my brush, okay? Just going down there. See what's happened there, okay? I've got a big run on there now because I had so much paint on my brush, okay? So make sure that you, that was just through doing that, going towards the corner. If you go towards the corner, you're going to get runs, all right? So always away from the corner. So I need to load up now. Do the panel again, exactly the same. Really, really pushing it out. Don't want to see anybody doing this, but just with the tip of the brush, because that's not going to work, okay? Using the full brush, pushing it out. Horizontally, across, lightly, really lightly lay off vertically, lightly lay off all the way around your mouldings, check you've not got any misses, Get your rag that you'll always have with you, wipe the edges and the panel done, okay? So I can now just go to the next bit and you'll know exactly what I'm going to do. So in your head, I'm not going to talk through this bit, in your head just think about what I'm doing. Done. Okay, so did you follow that? Yeah. Just be careful with the moulding. Sometimes when people are doing it, they're a bit scared of getting it on this area so they don't go close enough to the edge of the moulding. So then the way to do that, you start off flat, but then you turn your brush to the side and then you get that moulding. Don't mind that you're going over onto there because you're going to wipe it. Okay. Sometimes on building sites especially, you'll get somebody that will maybe roll the rest of the door but just cut in the panels. 
That's okay if you're going to lay it off, but if you're not going to lay it off, you end up with what's called orange peel, which in a, really, a very good effect for when you want to get a good shine, because the orange peel is just going to refract the light all over. So the key elements of getting a good shine is to get a really smooth surface. Remember, really lightly lay off at the end. The lighter you lay off, the less brush marks you're going to have when you're finished off. Right, so I've got, comes the end panel now. Now you've got to make sure that you've got enough time to finish the rest of the door by the time you get to this panel. Because if you're going to start your door and then five minutes in, I'll say it's prep time, you can't go for your break, you've got to stay and finish the door because you'll get what's called fat edges, okay? The reason we thin this undercoat as well is so it flows out better and it lays off better. So that's the panels done now. So they say if it was a case of lunchtime, break time, whatever, whatever, maybe you needed to take a break for whatever reason, I can leave that now. Okay. But I'm not going to, I'm going to carry on. But just in case you get your timings wrong, always check before you come to this bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I just do it periodically, is I'm just going to scrape my brush out. Just to make sure I ain't got any heavy build up of paint in there. Okay. And then I'm going to paint this outside in a sequence. Does anybody know the sequence that I've painted this door? Go on, Alice. <coughs> yeah? What? Start there and go lower down? Uh, no. No? Start there. Bring that bit across. Ah, you're going to across first, are you? Let me show you. You've maybe learned that way because you're watching someone who's moving quite fast. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you the correct way that it states that this should be done. And it's to keep the wet edge going. Okay. Because if I started there, I went across there, went down there, oh, I thought, oh, I'll just go back there. You end up with lots of edges. You know, like I said, it dries really quick. Once the oxygen gets to it, it starts to dry. So what you're trying to do is keep that wet edge going. You don't want that edge to dry. So does anybody know the name of these bits here? Anybody in year two know the names of these bits here? Muntins. Muntins, thank you. These are your muntins. Again, spread the pen out. Lay it off lightly, keep paint out your brush, and then just feather that edge. If you feather the edge, it stops you getting that sharp edge. Where do I go now, Jimmy? Next one down. Next mountain. So the mountains start at the top of the two panels here. Now make sure you move your brush on the side to side. You want to get them bits of moulding right at the corner again. And we've come to a corner now, so now I've got to work away from the corner. If I carry on going down, I'll get another run. Check it's all covered. Lightly, really lightly lay off. Get rid of them brush marks. Take the excess out of your brush. Those are the edges. And then last one. Bottom one's in. Lightly to avoid what? Brush marks. Brush marks. Screw the brush out. Turn the images. Right, where would I go now, Liam? The one on the left and right. That one and that one? Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Jonathan, which bit would I do next? 
Don't know. Would you do Spencer. Middle, horizontal. middle horizontal. Start at the, start the top. Yeah. yeah. And do you know what them bits are called? Rails. Rails. Yeah. No. When you get panel doors, you get rails. Sometimes you want to get four panels and you get the top rail, the lock rail and the bottom rail. This one, we've got six panels. We've got a top rail, an intermediate rail, a lock rail and the bottom rail. So they're the bits you do next. So what you're doing here, you've got this wet edge here. So you're going into this wet edge ever so slightly. You're taking this just to the side of this panel here. Lay off really lightly. Just check you're not putting too much paint in your corners. That's your top rail. Done. If you get so far down and you notice on a panel you've got a miss, don't touch it. What will you do if you touch it? Peel off the custard. Good answer. Near enough, yeah. You'll just drag it about, won't you? It'll just all become bungy. So you see here, I'm not going back into that, but I just have to work up to it. To the edges here. Not loads of paint and then really like lay off. When you work quicker, the edges, they'll stay wetter longer. All right, so where do I go next? Which is called lock rail. Yeah, this is where the lock is. So I'm gonna just be careful around the corners. Now this isn't going to cover. It's a pale green over a cream or a pale blue, it's actually China blue. It's not going to cover, so don't go over it and think you've got to put enough on to make it cover. As I said, two thin coats are better than one thick coat. Now when you go down the bottom, obviously you've got that paper there as protection. You will find that in, when you're in people's houses, that is generally really tight to the carpet. So the best thing you can do is get a sliver of paper underneath. If you haven't got any paper, some masking tape works the same. Two inch masking tape at the bottom, all right? So, but you're gonna cut into the floor. You're not gonna deliberately paint on that paper because if you do, you're then gonna maybe tread in that and walk it about. So, to the corner. Work it into the bottom rail. Really like the layoff, and then what's the last bit we need to do? Yeah. You know what they're called? Mm -hmm. Anybody know what they're called? Level two, year two, sorry, do you know what they're called? Styles. Don't matter which one you do first, but there's one thing you've got to think of. Because you've opened the door inwards. You can see this edge here, yeah. yeah? So this edge has to be painted before the face. Now you can do that before you even start your panel door if you want. Make sure you don't paint on the hinges. If you get any on the hinges, you've got your rag. Now I won't do this last, as, oh shit, I've painted off the hinges, but no mind. I've already been painted over. I wouldn't paint that second. Why would I paint it first and not second? Because you would get a fatty edge. Yeah. If I paint that second now, I just put a load of paint on the corner. And this is what I'm gonna be looking at. This is the the main focal point. So we're working down. Go all the way to the bottom with one side. Don't think you've got to bring that side down at the same time.
How long does all of this pain take to dry? Does anybody know? Six to eight hours. Six to eight hours. Yeah. It takes properly dry six to eight hours. So what that generally means is when you've used all of this pen, you can't use it again on the same surface till the following day. If you're hardly going to get up at six o'clock in the morning, you're ready to be able to paint it before you go on up at the end of the day. So make sure that you only give oil-based paint one coat in a day. This would usually have a handle on, would cut around the handle, but these ones have been taken off. When you come to do it, you'll find that because you've got the new doors through there, you've got new handles. So the best way to protect them is to slightly loosen them, the screwdriver, just so don't take them off, slightly loosen them, and then just mask the side of the door handle. Obviously be careful when you go around it. Careful as you go around it. And then once it's dry and finished, then you would screw it back. Okay. So that then basically is the door done. And if you can see here, that's flat now. So you can see that that's, that's gone off. It's untouchable. I can't touch that anymore. And it is, it's what, what it is, is it's actually touch dry already because it's really warm in here. And it's quite unusual for oil best paint to dry that quick, but because it's nice and thin and it's really warm in here, it's dried really quick. So I can't, what it is, that's at the tack stage now. So it's gone flow, set, and now it's tack. All right, so that's the end of your panel door. Hello.